So here you are, your long-awaited free kit from the test tube. We call this kit Voltage Vegetables, for fairly obvious reasons, as you'll see. First unpack your kit. You'll see that you have a high-quality meter that will take all sorts of electrical measurements. It might seem complicated, but we'll teach you to use it a bit by bit. Plug the black lead into the black socket on the bottom right. Plug the red lead into the socket just above. Take the plastic caps off the other ends of the leads. Oh, we haven't provided the vegetables. Here we've added two small potatoes. I'm sure you can find some. A kitchen knife might also be useful. Now, using a knife, make a small slit in one potato. Into this, push a 2p coin. Close to it, but not touching push in one of the nails. Now connect the potato to the voltmeter. Here I've used a green crocodile lead to connect the coin to the red meter lead. A red crocodile lead connects the nail to the black meter lead. The colours of the leads are of course not important. Oh, you better switch the meter on. Turn the dial anti-clockwise three clicks so the top pointer lines up with the 20 on the left-hand voltage scale. What voltage are you getting from your potato? Now what happens if you add another potato? Push a coin and nail into a second potato, again close but not touching. Connect the nail from one potato to the coin in the next. Here it is done with a red lead. You need your third lead now to complete the circuit. What voltage do you have now? Also in your kit is a sound card. If you pull out the little piece of paper, you'll get a very annoying tune. Try this, then put it back in. We want to see if the potatoes will drive this sound card. First you need to take out the battery. Use the end of one of your meter leads to push the battery out. Be really careful here. You might find it helpful to use the knife blade just to lift up the battery cover a little bit as you push. Now disconnect your two potatoes from the meter leads. Connect the crocodile leads to the sound chip. Now do you get any music? Look carefully at this picture to see how your leads should connect to the sound generator. I didn't expect you to get any sound. However, if you heat up the potatoes, and here all I'm using is a desk lamp to heat them up, then you might well get some music playing. Finally, raid the fruit bowl, raid the fridge, find some other fruit and veg and see what voltage you can get from them. See if you can play the sound chip using a couple of lemons for example.